Hey folks, Zach Shaw from Song Hack here. I'm going to make a band in a month. So I'm going to write an EP, record the EP, mix the EP, master the EP, do all the marketing and PR for the EP, do a crowdfunding campaign to finance the EP, license the recording, uh, you know, get it written up in as many places as I can get it written up, uh, you know, release it, pay what you want, and, and make money that way. Get it streaming everywhere, get it distributed everywhere. I'm going to do this all within one month. I'll throw in a release show too. <laughs> I know, it's kind of crazy, but I've been thinking about doing this for a few weeks now and I just decided, you know what, it's time to do this. I mean, if you guys know me, you know that I do uh, Song Hack, which is the new website where uh, I review digital uh, products and services for musicians and we let the users come in and talk about you know, what works and what doesn't. And so it gives you the best practices to get online making money and also you know, where to avoid the people who want to exploit you. Uh, I, I do Media Apocalypse, which is the blog all about musician issues and music industry issues, trying to make the music business more free and fair uh, with my nonprofit, righttomusic.org. And then, uh, of course, I've got the label Music for End Times, uh, which releases music from a bunch of bands, Nightmares, Dead Unicorn, which uh, is my band that we just raised $4,300 on Kickstarter to fund and release our album Pandemic. You can download that for free at deadunicorn.com. So, you know, I've got all these pursuits and I wanted to find out where the middle ground is of all that and bring them all together and kind of, this is the project that's going to do that. So I am going to define a month as basically uh, 4.3 weeks, right? If you do the math, there's about 4.3 weeks in a month and then we'll say 50 hour work weeks because you know being a musician is uh, is a lot of hard work so we'll do 215 hours about so that'll be my box I gotta do everything within 215 hours and it sounds like a lot when you say 215 but when you really break down what I'm gonna have to be doing you know I'm only gonna have two or three days to write this whole entire EP so I I'm really looking forward to it it's gonna be a real cool way to kind of try some new ideas and uh, just see how far I can push myself to actually getting this done. And I also am doing this to kind of prove to uh, musicians out there that, you know, you can do this yourself. You can DIY your music career. You don't need a label. Um, you know, you can just get a few hundred fans and you hit that kind of magical number where, you know, you're making a little bit of money. Now, money obviously is not the reason why musicians or, or I create music. Uh, I like Henry Rollins quote, he said, I'd rather be uh, heard than paid. But that's going to be the other kind of goal that I'm going to set for this project because that's the whole point. I want to show you guys that, you know, uh, it's not enough just to compose music or, or play music out live or record it. You really have to think like an entrepreneur. Um, I mean, I run a label, but really I'm thinking about each band as its own business. I'm thinking of it more like a, a management kind of company. So I'm going to show you guys all the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. Uh, and hopefully we're going to make some money. I'm going to set the goal at $3,000. So $3,000, I think, is a reasonable number to make in a month uh, on just music alone. And it works out to, I don't know, something like uh, $12 or $13 an hour. So, you know, not a ton of money, but better than you'd make at McDonald's. And if you're doing what you love to do and you can pay your bills with that amount of cash, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, another thing worth mentioning, it's not going to be, you know, 4.3 straight weeks. It's not going to be one straight month. Who has the time to do just music all day? Well, you know, maybe after this project they'll get a little closer, but um, so I'm going to break this up. It's probably going to take a good three months to do. I mean, the crowdfunding campaign alone is going to take a month, and so I'm going to be breaking this up into hours. That's why, you know, we're going with 215 hours. So I'm going to film this in a couple of ways. I'm going to film this on, on the nicer camera here. Uh, we're going to do updates every couple of hours. I'll give you a progress update and maybe play a little bit of what I got going on or show you a little bit about what I've been doing. And then uh, for big portions of it, I'm going to stream it live uh, so you can, you know, the links and all that stuff are going to be um, in the little area description down here. So I'm going to be streaming it live and you can actually tune in. Uh, I'll, I'll be letting people know when I'm going to be working on the uh, EP and the band that I'm creating from scratch. And uh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention is uh, this is totally from scratch. It's not premeditated. Uh, I am not, uh, you know, the only things I've really been thinking about are just influences. But I haven't written any songs, I haven't, you know, written any lyrics, I haven't, you know, done any real planning. Um, this is all going to take place right in front of your eyes. You know, I've got tons of songs already written that I could have just pulled out, but I felt like, you know, 
I want to get the writing in there as part of the challenge. So it's going to be completely from scratch. The only things I've been thinking of are some of the influences that I wanted to tap into, some of the bands, some of the songs that I've been really getting into lately. And hopefully I can kind of draw on the things I like about those bands and those recordings uh, when I put my five original songs together. So that's kind of where I'm coming from with that. And then the other thing is that I kind of have a concept of where I want uh, this to go thematically. You know, the concept behind it and the idea behind it. And I also have a couple of kind of general rules, um, which is I want to make an album that's kind of more accessible than, than my other stuff. Um, so the rule I kind of came up with is these songs can be played in a car commercial, you know? Like that's my goal is to come up with something that is, you know, professional sounding and, uh, you know, has, has that kind of like, if not a hit song quality, at least something that a lot of people could, could really get into and listen to. So I'm going to be exploring some new songwriting techniques that I've been uh, learning and I'll let you guys in on all that stuff. And of course, it's all going to take place over two or three days, so I'm not sure how much new technique I'm going to work in there. But it's going to be cool. It's going to be something different. So that's one of the, the, the overarching um, you know, rules. And the other thing is the theme is going to be uh, kind of interesting. I'm growing on, uh, well, the overall theme is, is uh, incomplete information. This idea that you know, we have to make decisions uh, all day, all the time, without all the information that, um, you know, of, of what's happening. And particularly as it relates to uh, pi uh, privacy, online, which is a big thing of mine, you know, I, I do a lot of internet freedom uh, blogging and tweeting, that sort of thing, and I'm a big internet freedom advocate, free culture advocate. Um, so this idea that, you know, we're losing our privacy through the NSA, et cetera, et cetera. So that's going to be one kind of theme I'm going to draw on, especially lyrically. Um, and then the other idea was to talk about poker, which is kind of funny. It's like, what the hell does this poker have to do with anything? But poker is a game of incomplete information. It's also a, a, a big pastime and hobby of mine. And as I started thinking of it, I also realized that it's it's a whole market that I could tap into to try and you know expose my music to people. Uh, if there was some sort of poker theme worked in, you know those people are really underserved. I mean, besides Lady Gaga's Poker Face, you know there's not a whole lot of music about poker, but there's a ton of poker players. So hopefully I can write some tunes that you know people would want to blast at their home poker game. So I know that's a lot to think about, but I got a lot to think about. I got to schedule this thing. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, so, um, you know, limitations. Uh, you know, this whole project is based on, uh, you know, kind of really getting into this idea of limitations as the basis of creativity. You know, one of the things about being uh, the entrepreneur aspect of being a musician is, you know, just shipping the product, right? Just releasing the album, like getting it from that moment of inspiration, all the fun stuff about music the comp composing and the performing and the recording, like all that stuff is super fun and musicians are all ready to do that. But when it comes time to the entrepreneurial, like let's get it from point A to point B, let's actually plan out how we're gonna get exposure, how we're gonna market it to our audience, et cetera, et cetera. You know, a lot of, a lot of musicians just don't do anything. So one of the key things of this video that I wanna show people is that, you know, that is just the umbrella. That's, the, that's a huge part. That is everything about, you know, your recording, your composing, your performing. None of that is going to really have the impact you want and you're going to reach the audience you want and certainly not make the money you want unless you have that entrepreneurial attitude throughout the whole process. And so entrepreneurs and anyone in business work on limitations. You know, you only have so many hours in the day, so much money to work with, so many employees. Whatever your limitations are, you work within them and that drives the business forward. And bands often don't have any limitations. They just say, oh, we can write anything we want, we can play anywhere we want, we'll take any gig that we can get, you know, and that's fine in the beginning as you're building your chops, but if you want to actually start rolling that into a career, you have to have limitations. I'm not just talking about deadlines, you know, that you, that are set by goals that you set and stuff like that, you know. Like, the uh, limitation right here is the $3,000, right? I have to make $3,000. Um, you know, I have to do it within the time limitation. That's huge. Another link I'll put in the comments is, uh, in the description, is Jack White's awesome little video clip uh, that inspired me to do this, really where he talks about all the limitations driving the white stripes and you can tell you know they're red black and white it's just a drummer and a guitar player so they have some obvious limitations but there are actually all, all sorts of other limitations he imposed set goals set deadlines make limitations for yourself that aren't arbitrary the biggest limitation here is going to be the schedule and so let me break down uh, finally here the schedule real quick so I can get on to friggin writing this thing because the clock is going to start at zero and it's going to count up to 215 and by the time I'm at 215 hours I better have uh, I better be on stage rocking out to a packed crowd 
with a new EP coming out. How exciting is that? It's cool. I'm so excited. All right. So the schedule. The schedule is going to be week one. Uh, we got to write and record this entire album in one week, in 50 hours. So I'm going to split that down the middle. We're going to do 25 hours of writing, 25 hours of recording. All right. And then uh, week two, we're going to be doing some mixing and mastering. Am I going to do the mastering myself? Uh, I'm still on the fence, you know. Uh, my skills, that's probably where my skills are the weakest in the, uh, you know, the recording studio. My home studio here is a little bit basic, but I think I can really pull it off. Uh, if I can't pull off the, I can pull off the mixing. If I can't pull off the mastering, well, then I might sneak it out the door and I think it mastered. But I'm warning you that ahead of time, so don't call me a cheater later on. Um, okay, and then after the mastering, obviously we need to do a crowdfunding campaign. So we got to plan a crowdfunding campaign and then promote it basically on a daily basis for 30 days. And that's going to take, you know, uh, a lot of time and effort to create the video, to, you know, plan all the uh, awards and stuff like that. At the same time, we're going to have to be creating our whole band's identity, the name, the logo, the style, the merchandise, the websites, starting out our Facebook, Twitter profiles, all that stuff. That's all part of this, man. I mean, you got to have all that stuff to, to crowdfund it all. We're going to do the crowdfunding campaign, and then when that's, as that's going on, we're also going to be uh, sending the mastered copy of the record out to press and trying to get some buzz building, release a single, do a whole marketing campaign, uh, you know, basically eight weeks out and then, you know, eight weeks afterward. Um, but again, you know, we're just going to be hitting it like, you know, 15 minutes here, an hour there. And then uh, in that fourth week and final week, we're going to be fulfilling the crowdfunding uh, packages, which is a significant amount of work to, to pack. I just got done packing, uh, you know, 150 of these for Dead Unicorn. So I'm looking forward to doing that again. And then uh, there's a record mail, which, by the way, we're not going to do a record for this this album, but we will have some cool stuff. Uh, and then uh, and then during the last week, I'm going to have to you know play a release show. I got to play for my people, which means uh, in, in this case probably assembling some band members uh, to rehearse and all that stuff. So that's got to get squeezed into that 215 hours as well. Is it impossible? I don't know. Maybe it is impossible, but I'm not going to treat it that way. I think I can do this thing in 215 hours. And we're about to find out if I can do it or not. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Uh, you know, leave your comments. Visit uh, songhack.com, mediapocalypse.com to get the updates on what's going on. And uh, let's make some friggin' music, folks.